Hi guys, welcome back to my 31 days of Halloween. So for today I'm doing this simple SFX gelatin boil look. For this I just started by making my own boils. I'm just going to use some clay. This is kids modeling clay and I'm just going to be putting it in this container so that if the gelatin spills it has something to collect it. And then I'm just flattening it out and then using the end of a makeup brush or anything round really. I'm just making boils in various spots. And then for the gelatin, I've already pre-made this gelatin, stuck it in a plastic bag and put it in the fridge. But for this, it's basically a two to one part system. Use two parts gelatin, two parts water, and then one part glycerin. And then you just mix this, heat it up for 10 seconds in the microwave, and then stir it around, and then you can just pour it in your mold. Once that's dry, it just peels right out. And that's it. That's how you make these boils. So I've already... So for this, to apply the boils to my face, I'm just going to be putting some latex on my face and a little bit on the back of the gelatin. And then I'm just sticking it to my face. And then to clean up some of the edges that didn't quite go, I just heated up some more gelatin and I'm just tapping that onto the edges. And then going in with some cream makeup, I'm just going to apply that all over my face. And then going in with the Makeup Revolution Marvelous Mads palette, I'm going in with this red shade. I'm tapping it around those boils as well as various parts of my face that don't have the boils to make it kind of look like it's kind of the same. And then going in with this yellow cream shade from that contouring palette, I'm just going to use that to highlight the tops of those boils. And then once that's done, I'm going in with a deeper red shade and I'm just patting that onto the very edges of the boils to give it more of a shaded, irritated look. And then using some Vaseline and this yellow shadow, this is Ooze from Mater Makeup Labs. I'm just going to mix those colors together and then tap that onto the edge of some of the boils. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is very simple, but it does have a very nice effect. Uh, so if you try this out, let me know. See you next time. Bye.